Hello. This reading is for Pisces. Pisces, let's take a look into what is in your energy. What energetic messages can I share either in the long or short term for you? Could be either on love, money, or life. These are usually the general energies I pick up on for the general coll collective readings anyway. Pisces, take what resonates if this reading, you know, does. Don't try and make anything fit. And if it doesn't resonate, then I hope you enjoy the story. To those of you who it may resonate with, or even if you would like more details, you can reach out to me by a personal reading, Mystic Galaxy Moons. Pisces, let me know if you like this reading. If you do, give me a like or a thumbs up or, well, same thing, or a comment or you can donate. It's all appreciated. And Pisces, thank you to my subscribers. I do want to thank my subscribers. And if you are watching and not subscribed, consider subscribing. Help us grow the channel. Pisces, shall we get into your reading? do a quick check on the energy for you. What message do I have? The tower. What is this tower, Pisces? The Empress. <laughs> Five of Swords. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, Pisces. I'm just laugh sort of laughing because I really feel like someone is aggressive here. And I feel like with this Empress energy, just sitting so calmly and serenely to be, oh, plotted on by um, these energies is uh, intense. Pisces, I believe you are sitting in some very desirable light and somebody is coming towards you to let you know how much they admire you also feel like they want to play a little games here, Pisces. Could be you going towards someone too, Pisces, in that energy. That is possible. If there is someone who you are really impressed with, like really impressed with, you could be, you know, in this energy of how can I approach that person? But Pisces, if you're not planning on approaching someone, if there's not someone who you were so impressed with, that you are going to take the daring step and strategize about absolutely making a shocking announcement of approach. Could even just be approach. Then, Pisces, you are the one who is being plotted on. You are being plotted on, Pisces. What is this? Oh, I want to know about the f Five of Swords more than anything. Five of Swords for Pisces. Why do I have a Six of Swords here, Pisces? Oh, the full Six of Swords. Three of Wands. This is a person just been plotting on you for a ridiculously long amount of time, Pisces. Is that the energy I have here? And now they're going to finally take that step forward and enact the plans that they've been working on towards you. The energy I have here, Pisces. Six of Swords, the world. Five, five of Cups just flew out. Oh, why are they depressed? I don't like to do depressing cards, but I'm curious. They took too long. Pisces, you have somebody in your actual, I think, physical presence. Could they be in your energy? Well, they could be, but I feel like they... This feels closer. Pisces, this feels like this person is close enough to... to watch you or even speak with you. Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, Fool. 
you have Pisces, you have somebody in your energy. I don't really, th I think it's a little more than your energy, though. Pisces, you should be aware. I think if you think about the people around you, Pisces, they should be somebody watching you. I don't think they should be that hard to go and see. This is not subtle energy. This is not subtle energy. None of this is subtle energy. We're not dealing with a subtle person here, Pisces. There's somebody who is going to approach you in romantic energy. I do think that they have been taking a ridiculously long amount of time to make up their mind to approach, but they decide to end this um, waiting. That's what this energy is, Pisces. I do think that they have been... Oh, it doesn't really matter if they've been thinking about the ways of approaching you or if they've just been fantasizing and daydreaming about being in your company. I think the seven, excuse me, the five of swords energy is enough to encompass both. So no need to clarify that. The fool here with four of pentacles. Yeah, this person has been watching you for a while. That's why I said I wonder if it's more than just, as I said, energetically being in your, around you. I think this is someone who actually physically has moments where they're in your energy and possibly interacting with you. Pisces, I think if you think about it, this person should look around. And the people who banter with you, because this is very bantering energy. They said this person is not subtle. This bantering energy, I think you'd be able to find out who this is. Or if this applies to you. King of Wands, King of Wands clarified. Yeah, Pisces. I mean, King of Wands clarified by Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands. Pisces, first of all, this information does tell me this person has been... This person's been around you. Now they're coming in. In this energy too, Pisces, this should not take long for this person to approach you. Is it just to approach you for a conversation to see more about it rather than actually pursuing a romantic start with you? Could be in this energy, Pisces. In this energy that I have here, this person could be approaching you in a friendly manner. They could approach you in a friendly manner and they could, in this energy, just compliment you a lot. Not saying love bombing, but I am saying complimenting you. They could compliment you a lot. They probably will compliment you a lot because you're in Empress mode. And with the energy here that I have, why would a King of Wands hold back on trying to... you know, make you feel flattered, make you aware of just how they feel about you, how they see you. I mean, compliments can serve those two purposes, right? Not only can you give a nice word to someone, Pisces, but you could also go and make it clear to that person, this is how I see you. This is what I think of you. Know that when you're thinking of me, I'm just not there going, oh, you're such a great person. You're such a wonderful, warm person because of X, Y, and Z. Maybe compliments do have that sort of dual purpose in the first place, Pisces. Anyway, let's go and see about our Empress, shall we? Empress for Pisces. Yeah, they just think like you're great. And I will also say that we do have a matched pair here, Pisces. This person is quite an interesting connection. So don't worry, it's not like I'm recommending some 
really, um, you know, not really. It's not like I'm recommending some weird person or I'm picking up on some weird person in your energy. No, this person is someone who you would like to be around. Maybe right now they're just looking at you. Maybe they're saying light things like hello or smiling or nodding or something. Who knows? Opening up the door for you. Who knows? But there is a matched pair. No need to, you know, look at the weirdos and wonder, oh, is this a person? No, it's not. Yes, Pisces, they think you're fantastic. They very much can't wait to do things with you. They think a start with you would be just so wonderful. And your personality, Pisces. The way you approach things and handle yourself, they're very impressed with that. It's all being very impressed with your bearing. Anyway, Pisces, you have somebody who sees you as the bomb. This is a matched pair. This tower, <laughs> Pisces, should not only go one way, okay? It should not only be on their end, it should be on your end too, Pisces. You're going to have somebody very interesting approaching you, Pisces. That is my message for you today. And look at your surroundings. Look at the people around you. Be more aware when you go out, Pisces. That's what you should do. That's also the message I have for you. So this doesn't catch you completely off guard. All right, Pisces. I hope you have a beautiful day. And until the next video, bye-bye.